Hello and welcome to the first part of the UI widget video editing tutorial made by the one. Okay, we'll start off by looking through the UI tags. Now, there is one tag that will stand out out of all the rest. That's this one right here, the widget collection. And the main reason it'll stand out more than any other tag is because it's a starting point for every single um, user interface tag that you see in game. And we'll start off by opening the main menu tag. And then you'll scroll right down to the bottom, you'll find the logo, the build number, and the main menu selects list. The main menu selects list for the main menu uh, all the things you see in the very first menu, which is um, campaign or single player, multiplayer, options, credits, and quit. We'll start off by opening this, so I can give you a quick rundown of how the widgets load each other and how each menu is loaded individually, without having hundreds and hundreds and hundreds of um, the user interfaces on top of each other. Okay, we're at the UI main menu select list UI widget definition tag. We'll scroll up, scroll right down to the bottom, and you'll find load campaign, multiplayer, profile, settings, quit, and credits, which I have to swap, which is really easy. We'll go duplicate, back to this one, delete. I swapped them. And we'll swap position two six and there we go fixed and that just puts it pretty much in the order it was in before I have no idea what's with the second load campaign it seems to be the exact same tag as far as I can tell I don't know why it's loading and when you try and select it it doesn't select itself and you don't really see it because it's off the screen anyway so that doesn't matter at the moment we'll start off by I'll start off by showing you how it works okay and basically it's the select list it's all the buttons I'll open the button widget and you don't have to go all the way down the bottom load campaign you'll have an event handle the event handle handles basically everything with um, the buttons. You'll start off by campaign menu and open widget which is what we want to run the function and try to branch on failure. If you see this it'll load the campaign menu and the ca well just to show you how everything works load the campaign menu we'll scroll down to the bottom and we've got another selects list and all the way back here we've got main menu main menu selects list then we've got the buttons which loads the next main menu the next menu for the user interface it'll load the next menu and you've got the Halo logo just to open it and show you. Show bitmap. And that's the logo I'm using. Don't worry about that. Maybe not implemented. Uh, I think, as far as I can tell, that's used for most of the just the image tags when you just want an image and you don't want a button. And the bounds. Well, we'll fix that. Uh, bounds, negative 10, 0, 512, 512. Uh, that's pretty much the size of the screen. But we'll go back to main menu. So it'll be right under here main menu dot UI widget definition. And we'll go back here. As you can see, select list. Oh, by the way, um, 
when you're working with widgets, it's important to back up your tags constantly. I had this problem before when I was trying to record the video tutorial, and everything just went haywire. So I cannot stress it enough. Back up your tags constantly. Make sure they work before you back them up. I can't help you any more than that with advice for editing the tags. But just to quickly show you how to set up a menu, I'll go and do this. We'll go close that, and I don't like, for instance, I don't like the very first menu you see at the very start. So I'll go copy that, paste it, and we'll call this UI widget definition. We'll call that 2. Main menu 2. And back here, main menu. We'll open this and we'll completely remove everything except for the Halo logo. Vertical offset, two fifth, nah. Yeah, it's hard to choose. 150. It's all. It's nearly impossible because uh, I don't think the Bungie and Gearbox software released all the editing tools for Halo C. Like for instance, Blitzcrag, they disabled a whole heap of features with that, so you can't export biped weights, and it doesn't work with. GMAX, but not working with GMAX as normal. Okay, we'll change this to. Oh, I don't know. That looks pretty nice, but I'll change this to. Um. First of all, we'll open the tag I'm changing it to. Go back one, and it's called Press Start Part Two. Copy it. Main menu. Paste. Yeah, it's called Press Start. Part two. Main menu. Press start. Part two. Save it. Open it. And as you can see, not much difference. But instead, the only thing on this will be this image right here. Press start to continue. And that will be displayed at the bottom of the screen. Now, I created a tag before where it was placed right at the bottom of the screen. So, I'll open the main menu tag again. And then I'll open the one I created before, which I had problems with. Which was main menu UI widget definition. And as you can see, it's exactly the same. Okay, vertical offset, 350, horizontal, 50. I'll just open that again. Main menu, main menu. Scroll down. Part 2, 150, 100. As you can see, that won't work. Across the screen, 50, down the screen, 350. And as far as I can tell, the screen bounds range from 1 to 400 across, depending on the image size, and going down, uh, it just depends. But that they were the best combination for um, across and down. And we'll close the fake one that I created late, earlier and didn't work. And we'll create this. And then we'll save. Save it. Now, we'll change this. Okay, we won't change it. Let's just quickly show you. Basically, it'll show you exactly where it starts. It'll start right here, so we'll leave that as it is. We'll open the button to load the next widget. And as you can see, it won't load any other widget tag. It'll only load the same main menu. 
So we'll just go through and change all those to it. two. And for the for left mouse, it doesn't really matter. I think you only need to use it once. But they've gone and used it twice everywhere. And it'll use that font. Main menu. I'm pretty sure that's not needed. But just in case it is, we'll give that a two. Name it. Save. Close. Close. Now we've added a menu before the main menu. We'll just compile the map file. And once it compiles, which UI map files tend to compile a lot faster than map multiplayer or single player map files because they only compile the tags that are that are required, unlike map tags, which depending on the way you've, what's happened to your Halo CE setup. Uh, mine somehow corrupted itself. I couldn't read anyone else's maps. No one could read my maps. And yet, all my maps had every single one of my tags compiled into them, and they were uh, around 30, 40, 50 meg each. Reinstalled it. Had no problems with other map files since. And the tag files are uh, all up around 30 meg each for the UI tags and the map file, whatever you you want it to be, when it's compressed it'll go around to the 18 meg size size of 18 meg now we'll just load Halo CE so I can show you the new menu it doesn't always work for time you have, it's mostly trial and error getting it to work but most of the time it's pretty straightforward forward. Um, adding a campaign menu for instance um, that could be a bit of a challenge because I think the game's hard coded so each um, button's set to um, a different map in the game not in the widgets but I'm gonna explore it and find out more about them so people can set up their own campaigns with their own UIs and have the original campaign and their campaign set up so they're gonna have two separate sets of save files without um, messing up each um, campaign that they're playing. Uh, if I can get around to it, I'll see if I can set up the tag files so um, the campaign maps are read in. Oh no, not again. Okay, we'll just cancel. I'll come up with an arrow. Don't send, we welcome that error. Well, not really. I guess it's a good thing that we had a problem during the tutorial, because now I can show you how to fix it. Main menu. Maybe not implemented. Now, it also helps to compare your tag with other tags. So I'll go main menu 2. And this is how I compare a lot of my tags. It's pretty simple. Comparing tags can to each other can also help fix a lot of problems that may also be occur when working with them. Whoops. Now that looks about right. Scroll down here. Scroll down here. Quit, 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 quit. Now, last time I tr had these incorporated into my map file, I had a lot of problems. So, what I'll do? Delete all. Yes. Last time I did that, it fixed my problem, but I'm not too happy about having it in the first place. And. This is how I compare a lot of my physics tags with the original tags so I can set mine up as well. Uh, any plan, any plan? Nope. Looks about right. Well, apart from doing that, nothing else can be done except for saving it and compiling it again. 